What is up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you guys doing today? Hopefully it is good. On today's Horror Talk, we are going to start our new series to the channel. We're going to start doing movie reviews, but we are kind of bringing it back in a different way. We're going to start doing them a little more often. What we are starting with is the 1999 horror, I call it horror classic, but it's probably not really a horror classic, House on Haunted Hill. Now the reason why I'm starting with House on Haunted Hill is because this movie started kind of a cool thing with Warner Brothers and this new production company that they had called Dark Castle Entertainment. Now the first debut movie that they put out was House on Haunted Hill back in 1999. It was directed by William Malone and it came out on October 29th. So Halloween weekend, great weekend to put out a Halloween movie. Uh, the runtime on this was an hour and 35 minutes. The production budget was $37 million. That seems a little high for a horror movie, and when I get to the review, you'll understand why it kind of costs that much. Uh, domestic total, it put out about 40 million, so they made their money back before it kind of left the theaters. It is a remake of the classic 1950s starring Vincent Price. It's just updated, some new modern stuff. Uh, they switched out a couple of the characters, but pretty much they kind of kept it very in tune with the remake. Now what's kind of cool is right off the bat in this movie, if you're not into theme park stuff, you're gonna kind of tune out for a second. The theme park that they are filming the opening uh, scene, which is features this green roller coaster, AKA the Hulk, uh, down in Orlando, Florida at Islands of Adventure, which just had opened up in the very same year that they pretty much put this movie out. So it's kind of cool, it's like a neat Easter egg if you know that park and you know the rides. The movie doesn't take very long. It's like 20 minutes and you're right into the house, uh, right down to the creepiness. When they first get to the house and they get inside, there's a really cool POV shot that's, that's really kind of neat. And they kind of pan around the room and you can see just how beautiful like this house is. And from the auto commentary, this is an actual stage they built. Uh, most of the rooms and everything that you see throughout the movie, it's all done in a sound stage, not just like CGI like it would be today, or they confined everything to be in a house where they wouldn't have to do so much of the budget. In this one, it's actually a full-fledged, almost two, I believe, two sound stages they use for this. The lead character, who we pretty much get to spend most of the time with is uh, Jeffrey Rush, who plays almost like a Vincent Price character. And if you listen to the Hollow commentary, he didn't want to play the character like that. It's just when he was trying to do like a John Waters character, but yet when he had the makeup on, it just came off like Vincent Price. So, um, that was really, really cool to kind of see him mimicking and imaging this, this other actor well known throughout the world of horrors. And not only his character, Stephen Price, and his wife, Evelyn, their relationship I found throughout the movie so funny. They're always trying to kill each other. They're, they're just, it's just like they're hinting that that drink you might be drinking might be poison or you know, wouldn't it be a shame if the gun went off? So it's just kind of this weird dark comedy relationship that they have. So that kind of keeps it interesting whenever those two are in a scene. Also like is Sarah and Eddie's relationship where it's not kind of forced like most movies would force those two in a relationship, but you can kind of see that there's something there but it's not overly done. It's just two main characters that you really like, and that's played by uh, Tay Diggs and Allie Lauder, I, I believe. Um, they're really likable characters. Throughout the movie, you kind of root for them to survive. And the story, like I said, it's the same story. It's the characters, they get a million dollars to survive the night. Uh, <laughs> and one of them that gets stuck in there with them is the character called Prackett, who is played by Chris Kentan. 
this character really knows everything about the house and you can kind of sense that there is a little bit depth to this character but he's so annoying throughout this movie he just talks so much and every time you see him on the screen you just want to like grab him by the throat and just tell him to shut up a good hour and ten of the movie is actually really enjoyable it's not overly done on the monster and the creepy demons kind of stuff although they do have this creepy character played uh, who's the lead doctor of this asylum uh, back when it was open um, he kind of makes an appearance here and there and I wish they had a little bit more of that in there as opposed to this ghost demon black shadow thing that we see a little later on I get what they were going for but it just kind of felt like a letdown as opposed to what we see throughout the movie with you know the ghost appearing and the dream sequences and just this creepy house and we come to this shadow thing overall it's an enjoyable movie for me i'm have to give it like a seven if you have someone that's not really into horror and you kind of want to show them something Halloween related, something kind of scary, it's a perfect movie to throw on. It's not like too overdone, but it's just enough for you to kind of enjoy the journey, especially if you're just starting out October and you want something very light to start off with. I definitely recommend this movie. Like I said, it gets a 7 for me. Overall, I think a 7 out of 10 is pretty solid. What is up guys? Hopefully you enjoyed this movie review on House on Haunted Hill. If you did, leave it down in the comment section, leave this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We have more reviews on the way. Next one we will be doing is 13 Go. So if you have it or if it's out there and you want to check it out, check it out. I want to do something to feature you guys' tweets about 13 Go. So stay tuned to my Twitter and I will be posting when that review is going to be coming. So make sure to watch it and then you can leave me your comments and leave some comments over on Twitter about what you think about the movie. That is it for now until I see you guys again. Good afternoon, good morning, good night. Whenever you're watching this, Zombie Chris is out.